Hi, I'm Stephen John. And I'm Joseph Barnett. And we're inventors in the Lemelson MIT National Collegiate Student Competition. I grew up near Mission Hospital in Nepal. And I've volunteered at a hospital in Honduras for a number of years. During our time at these low resource settings, we're able to see that in order for medical devices to have a high impact, they not only have to be simple, but they also have to be resilient. Premature babies often struggle to keep their lungs open and breathe. The functional unit of the lungs, the alveoli, are like small balloons, which are hard to inflate the first time. So a form of non-invasive treatment, CPAP, continuous positive airway pressure, uh, consists of just delivering a constant level of pressure to keep those balloons, keep those alveoli open. This is typically delivered with a ventilator or all around the world they use a very simple setup, bubble CPAP, in which you have a straw in a cup of water and depending on how deep the straw is submerged, that's the pressure the baby receives. Sicker babies require a dual level treatment that's typically not available in low resource centers because they don't have access to ventilators. Our device collects bubbles, rises, and sinks. This process repeats, delivering two levels of pressure to the infant, a high and a low. We are harvesting the waste bubble energy of current treatments to power the next level of treatments. The device is simple. There's just one moving part, and the delivered pressure is set by the depth of water in the container. As the nurse is walking by, she can look and see, are there bubbles coming? Is the device moving? And know the baby's receiving the correct treatment. So just by switching your exhaust pipe to a pipe with our device mounted on it, you can now deliver the next level of treatment at a price point of $25 as opposed to thousands of dollars for a ventilator. Stephen and Joe have applied rigorous engineering principles to solve a very important problem. What Stephen John and his team at WMU have um, achieved in the short amount of time that I've known them is some staggering results.